So it's finally December and here are my list of best Android applications you should check out. Now if you are a minimalist, this timer application will definitely be your best friend. It is called Pomidor and everything about it is clean and simple. I love how the timer looks and everything being black and white. It comes with preset times for work and breaks so you can simply swipe to switch in between them. You can toggle in between them at the top right corner here. And to start a timer, you just use this slider at the bottom. You can customize each session with a name and also set your custom time. If you do more or less break or focus times from the default 5 minutes and 25 minutes. This is definitely a timer application I will always have on my desk. Looking at it, it just feels satisfying. And with the pro version, you will unlock more monochromatic themes, timer settings, and even background sounds during the timer sessions. But it's completely free to install, set your own timers and use. Definitely check it out. Next on the list is Inware. And this app isn't new, but it has recently gotten this Material 3 expressive design, which has completely changed the entire look of the app. And here are screenshots of how the app's UI was at first, and now it has this modern look. Seriously, well done to the team. And if you don't know about Inware, it's a utility application that basically gives you details about your phone. You know, information about the components like camera, memory, network, battery, the hardware itself and more. And not just showing you details, you can also long press to copy any of the details in case you will need them. And so if you've loved this application and aren't aware of the new design, there you go. Next is this incredible application called App Finder. And this will be very useful if you are looking for specific apps on the Play Store but have forgotten the name. With this app, you can enter keywords about the app. And the unique thing about it is you get filters to help you find a particular app or at least get similar results. So once you enter the keywords, you also get to select whether it's a free app or paid app, whether it has in-app purchases or not, whether it has ads or no ads, whether it's on the Play Store or not. Plus, there are more hidden filters you can enable like date released or updated, download size and more. And you can select which category of application it is and even ratings. With all these, you will definitely find your application from the list of results that will come up. And from there, it takes you to your Play Store to download. Another useful utility application is this app called File Tree Size. And it has the UI of a usual file manager application, but what it does is helping you create space on your phone. And I feel this is the best and easiest way to delete files because its basic action is deleting. Unlike when using file manager applications, you have to long press and find delete from a bunch of actions in the pop-up menu. With this app, you can equally navigate and once you tap, the only action is delete. So if you have several unwanted files to delete, this app enables easy space creation, especially going directly to the particular file location, knowing where you are deleting from. And I know you might be using other file cleaning applications, but most scan and bundle things together and you might miss some important files. Plus, this app displays the phone storage as well as the downloads and photos folder, which is two of the most accessed folders in the storage. Next is another utility application I came across few days ago as at the time of this video. It is called PDF Toolkit. It's a multifunctional application for working around PDFs. You get tools like merging files, photos, single documents into one PDF. Here, you can select as many files and reorder them, easily merge and give it a name. You also get Edit PDF, which lets you rotate PDF pages, delete some pages out and more. And if you have documents with large sizes than normal, you can add it here to compress the size. There is also converting images to PDF and filling forms it works very well and smooth with no issues and it has this dark theme which is pretty awesome. It is free with no ads so definitely check it out. Switchly is an application that ensures productivity by letting you create profiles and adding applications to block when a particular profile is active. So you can create work profiles, study profile, reading, sleeping and more. And for each profile, you can add list of applications to be totally blocked when you attempt to launch. The app does a very good job at that. You attempt to launch a blacklisted application and you get this overlay restricting your access to it. And as I mentioned early on, you can add multiple profiles and easily switch in between them. And in order to have the overlay to enable the app blocking, make sure you allow all the necessary permissions when setting up the app. I have come to love using this minimal widget from an application called Minimalist Agenda Widget. And as the name suggests, you can bring this minimal scrollable widget to the home screen, which syncs to your calendar. You can easily add tasks, events, or to-dos when you tap the plus button. You then add and save, 
and then tap the refresh button here to add to the list. In the app, you get to choose which account calendar to add, plus a bunch of settings, you know, what to display and what not, plus you can customize the appearance like font size, spacing, background opacity, alignment and more. It is pretty useful to have on the home screen. Moving on, we have this application called Easy PWA. With this app, you can easily launch websites as individual applications which you can launch from the home screen. And it's very simple. If there are some websites you use most often, you simply copy and paste the link into the app and you have the website icon and name generated and you can simply tap to add to the home screen as a shortcut, which when you tap, the website opens in full screen like a native application. You can also edit the shortcut name and even the icon. Plus, you can add and create as many shortcuts as you want. And the best thing is, you can back up all shortcuts to the drive and restore them even if you have the shortcut deleted from the home screen. Pretty simple application. Next, MemoKey is a pretty innovative application you should have. It's a keyboard app which stores your most used words or information as notes in it. So whenever you are typing and it gets to entering such information, instead of going to find them wherever they are stored, copying and pasting, you simply tap the keyboard switcher here to switch to memo key which shows all the notes you've saved in it and you can simply tap to enter it. To make things even simpler, you can pin your favorites out of the notes you've added in the app so when you switch keyboards, those pinned ones will show up first. So for accounts links, hashtags, numbers, emails and other useful information which you don't need to copy and paste all the time, you can have this hidden keyboard to switch to every time. Just make sure you have it enabled in the language and keyboard settings when you install the app to be able to use it in any application. And then we have App Info and this application tells you everything about installed applications on your phone. You get to know the tools used to develop them, example applications built with Flutter, React Native and so on. You can even view when you first installed a particular application on your phone and the last time you updated. And you can easily get to the app settings you get to know all the permissions each application has plus it even explains what the permission does for each application in simple english for you to understand and not only installed applications you get to know about system apps too and the app is clean and easy to use plus there are no apps and so if you are curious about the applications you have on your phone check out this one and since it's the last best apps of the month for the year this time i've got three extra applications to show you but before we check them out, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. The goal for the channel is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And we recently hit 9,000, so help me achieve this alongside enjoying more app review content. A really useful and at the same time important application you must have on your phone is this one called SafeCam. It provides features to secretly record videos and audio without letting anyone know about it. It lets you secretly record with the front and back camera or even snap photos and record audio. And you can trigger all these actions with gestures like shaking your phone from a shortcut, a floating icon, making gestures on the phone notch like long pressing, single touch, swiping left and right and more. And the best part is nothing will indicate on your phone screen that a recording is going on, meaning recordings are done secretly after you trigger it. And that brings it to the importance of such applications in case of emergency or safety reasons where you will need to secretly record something. All media recorded in the application gets saved within it and with a download button to have it saved to your gallery. Some gestures and recording actions are locked for the premium version of the app, but most features are still free to use. If you love to have a depth effect on your phone's lock screen, then this application called Depth Live Wallpapers brings the same style and is very reliable. It doesn't stop working. Once you choose your style and have it downloaded, you can simply tap to have it applied to either the lock screen or the home screen. And the themes are very beautiful too, you get the minimal styles, vibrant and different clock styles too. The best part is, it can override the system lock screen. Or you can manually disable the system clock on the lock screen or make it invisible so the app's clock will show. Notifications on the lock screen will work perfectly, same as the security. And in the app, you can adjust the appearance of the clock. And then we have this application called Ucaster. It brings an innovative way by letting you enjoy videos in a form of podcast. So you can search for the channel name or you can also enter the URL and then you get all the videos from the channel to consume as audio. You get all the latest videos, it shows the dates uploaded and duration, plus you can subscribe to channels and get to see all channels you've subscribed to here as well. The UI is clean and perfect for a podcast-like application. 
And so in case you are working or trying to get productive, you can use this application and still enjoy your favorite videos. If you made it to the end of the video, a very big shout out to you and let me know which of these applications you found interesting down in the comment section. Again, consider subscribing to the channel to help us achieve the goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers before the year ends. Drop a thumbs up as well and as always, thank you for watching.